Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello. Gosh darn it, Hugo. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's my fault. I really should put that I'm busy. Oh well. Uh, okay. Um, well, shout outs to Hugo. Hello there. Um, gosh darn it. I, I was getting ready. I was getting warmed up with that. Anyway. Uh, might as well just continue this. Hello everyone, my name is Tetsu, and I welcome you to Dust Arcade's Gaming. Uh, I feel like I should say something really witty, but I don't really have the intelligence for that, so I'm just going to move forward. <clears throat> Do not set out on this quest with the expectation that you will succeed if, at first try. I also am apparently illiterate. Your betters have gone before you, and fallen to the last. Yet, do set out and strive. Learn what you can, and when you fail... And when you fail... Oh. And your light is extinguished forever. Despair not, for many more <laughs> answer the call each day. Gosh dang it. I'm sorry. I'm very, 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 very sorry. <laughs> but... I'm not illiterate, but I feel like it right now. Gosh damn it, it's so late in the evening. Anyway, uh, understood. Welcome everyone uh, to For the King, a game I have been playing religiously for since I got it, which has been a couple months now. Um, okay, so what is For the King? Well, it's basically a, a tabletop for PC. Which is pretty cool. Um, I've got a few games already on, uh, but what else is there? Well, we got the lore store. As you can see, I've. Uh, hmm, what's this? Oh, that's for the DLC. I want to get that. I, I want to. I want to get that because it's you know fun. Uh, ooh, apparently there are more characters unlocked. Oh, okay. The game does not like when I do that. Okay. So there's more stuff in the lore store that we can actually buy, which is nice. Uh, I really do need to get the DLC. I really want, really want the DLC. Anyway, uh, besides my desires of wanting to uh, transfer through a jungle, which apparently everyone is saying is broken as hell. Apparently it's incredibly lopsided uh, game balance wise. Which I mean, I suppose is fair. <laughs> it's been, it was a it had been a while since they'd actually put out any content for the game, but I am excited to play it nonetheless, and I hope I hope I can play it uh, soon for the channel, and you know in private because I love this game and I want it to succeed anyway. Uh, so what are we going to do in For the King? Well, like I was explaining, it's uh, basically tabletop for PC. It's very fun, uh, has a lot of replayability. Uh, does it have any issues? A couple? Um, well, I say a couple. Uh, just a few pet peeves of mine, which kind of revolve more around me being bad at the game than the actual game itself. So take those with a grain of salt. Uh, I will complain about the game from time to time, but again, I am just not very good at it, even though I've played it so much. Yeah, anyway, uh, we're going to be doing something that I'm not sure if anyone else has done. I'm going to attempt it, though, and it should be fun to record and let people see it. Uh, at this point, I'm just rambling. <laughs> so let's actually get into the game. Okay, we're going to be playing on uh, easy, or the apprentice mode, because, like I said, I suck. And uh, in the and what I'm about to do is probably only possible on Apprentice. I've actually tried the, what I'm about to do on Normal like 81 times at this point, and I've only gotten to the King's Labyrinth, and that's not even halfway through the game. Yeah, or maybe it is halfway. I I don't know. Is it? Maybe. I don't know, maybe that is halfway through the game now that I'm thinking about it. But regardless, I can barely get that far, and I think I've only beaten it twice. 
Uh, okay. Without further ado, I'm going to actually show you what I'm going to do. Uh, create game. Okay, there we go. Uh, and here's all the stuff down here. Uh, it's going to be in apprentice mode, Lord Payout uh, is 60%, Chaos Frequency 8, Life Pool. Oh, hold on. Let me let me fix that. Uh, okay. Um, new game. Uh, house rules. Yeah, here we go. Life pool is gonna be zero, and uh, yeah. Now you might you <laughs> might be wondering why. Um, well, mainly because of how I'm going to play this. Uh, well, going back to this, economy inflation is eighty percent. Starting bonus is plus five. Max focus is, uh, bonus is plus one. Uh, enemy health is 90%, in turn health gain is, uh, yes. And, uh, start items, plus 5 gold, godspear, golden root, tinder pouch, and old boots. Okay. Alright. So, um, okay. I'm gonna press this, and, uh, here's our character. Now I'm gonna, I got the name, we're gonna go with that, and we're going to choose a character. Now, what is the uh, the challenge here? Well, this is going to be a challenge for, for first and foremost. And it is a challenge that, like I said, I'm not sure if anyone has done. I'm pretty sure people have tried it, but I'm not entirely sure anyone's recorded it. At least I haven't found anything. Uh, I'm going to attempt on Apprentice, mind you, on the easiest difficulty, to beat the game, this game for the king, with only a single hero. I know, maddening. Very, very maddening. And I'm pretty sure I'm popping like crazy. I really need to work on my mic behavior. Is that, is that how this works, mic behavior? I don't know. At any rate, we are going to pick a character. Now, I've actually been thinking about this a lot. About what character I would like to choose. Um, and there, there's a, there's a couple that I'm tempted to try. I want to try the Minstrel, the Busker. Uh, Woodcutter is probably not a bad choice because he can do a lot of damage. Uh, the Hobo. <laughs> the Hobo. Uh, my second favorite class because it, it's just so fun to play. Uh, the Treasure Hunter. Interesting. Orig eventually I want to be able to use all characters in this, uh, little bit of challenge. Um, hopefully if I can beat it in easy, I can try for normal next time. Uh, however, in this case, we're going to go ahead and use Blacksmith. Um, mainly because it's the class I play, I have played most, mainly with other people. Um, so, I, honestly, I'm kind of tempted to use the Busker. For some reason, my hat disappeared. Uh, mainly for the economy. Uh, buskers have uh, actually it'd be easier to show you uh, the busker has a few special abilities it, elite flee being one so it can he can run away uh, or she depending on what gender we pick uh, pretty simply like they can run away immensely uh, he also has two passive skills entertain which if you if you like are on a tile next to a city or a town uh, you have a chance of getting gold from it and this can actually stack pretty well and early game is pretty damn good it's pretty damn good uh, because it means we can get a whole hopefully a whole bunch of interesting equipment that can help us excel and God spirit and all other kinds of things which is you know pretty awesome um, also, uh, Distraction, another passive skill. This is actually probably one of the reasons why the Busker is such a good character, and why so many people recommend having it in your party. Uh, distraction basically means that there is a chance that you can cause your opponent to have a bad roll on one of it, on one of their rolls. So, you can, for instance, make it to where they either say they have four rolls for a weapon 
uh, you can make it to where they have three good rolls and one bad roll. Uh, this actually has potential, uh, quite a lot of potential, one to lower damage because the number of rolls you do uh, indicates how much damage you can actually do, but it also means that certain effects that require perfect rolls in all, um, in all circles, uh, I don't think I'm describing this very well, but it basically means that certain abilities or a attack effects that would normally go off if your opponent got perfect rolls, uh, would not happen because you do not they do not get a perfect roll this doesn't always proc just to point that out but it has a chance to and can be quite helpful uh, the broken loot lock pick uh, one lock pick i think and seven gold is the starting equipment which is pretty good uh yeah anyway uh it's either the busker or if i can get over here blacksmith the blacksmith is an interesting character. Uh, they've only got one passive skill, steady, or steadfast, uh, as I generally like to think on it. Basically, you can completely negate... Actually, can I hover over this? Uh, no. Anyway. Um, basically, you have the chance to completely negate an attack. Uh by basically the the way it's explained in game uh yeah sometimes turning toward the enemy lets the armor absorb what would have been a staggering blow um yeah basically the blacksmith is like yeah i know armor this blows about could kill me but it's like no i'm i'm gonna take it and then some uh, supposedly, if your evasion's like really high, this procs constantly. I have no proof of that, so don't quote me on that. But a lot of people say it does, and yeah. Anyway. Uh, they start with a blacksmith's hammer, a simple iron shield, and plus 11 gold, which is very, very nice. Uh, your strength is your main attack stat, unless you want to go vitality. Most people don't, and for good reason, it's eh. Uh, but talent is also a good stat, uh, a secondary attack stat, which can be quite helpful. Uh, so basically right now I'm kind of torn between the busker and the blacksmith, but just for the economy, I'm very, le I'm leaning toward the busker. Um, yeah because getting a lot of gold early could mean a lot. Granted, there's a lot of things that have to go our way for this. So, yeah, I don't know if this is going to end well. I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys that I'm giving it a shot. And, yeah. Okay, then. At any rate, we are going to... Uh, there we go. No, oh, no, I did not mean to do that. Well, I kind of meant to because I clicked the X, but I did not mean for it to do that. Okay. Uh, we're going to customize. And we are going to be a fishman because I like fishman. Um, uh, I'm just going to go with the normal clothes. Don't want a top hat. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the little party hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just floating above his head. Um, hmm. Weird. Hmm. I guess I'll just go with the top hat. Uh, let's see. Basket. Ooh. I, I like the basket. Um, main color. Let's go green. Skin tone, like a peach. Mm. A little darker, maybe pink. Hair oh, right, this is the hair color, orange. Mm. Green. Skin tone, pinkish. 
I don't know. I, I look like a leprechaun. Main color. Uh, let's go blue. Mm, red. Yes, I look like a dastardly villain. Which I guess kind of works for the busker since he's kind of, you know, roguish. I guess. Hey, anyway. We're going to keep the name. And we are going to ready up. Okay, it kind of wanted to flake there, but I think we got it. Uh, Alright, let's begin our adventure. Uh, good King Bronar. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce that, but fair. The once peaceful kingdom of Thorul is being corrupted by wild chaos energy and ravaged by monsters and bandits. Uh, oh, wait. Did I read that right? Good King Bronar has... Okay, has been slain. There we go. Again, I apologize, I'm illiterate. Not really, but eh, details. Uh, the grieving queen Rosamon has called for Farul ordina Farul's ordinary citizens to search the land for the king's murderer and the source of the chaos energy. The tale now begins in the Guardian Forest where there have been rumors of suspicious activity and sinister strangers in the woods, oh my. Three would-be heroes meet in Orton Orton, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. To begin their quest. That is incorrect. I am one hero instead of three. You have failed me, game creators. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think they expected somebody to do something this silly. Uh, at any rate, let's go. Okay. Uh, here she is, Queen Rosamon. Distinguished. Okay, uh, <clears throat> first the wizard Vexor vanishes with my own husband, wait, wait, then my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last hope of Haru. Well then we're kind of bone then, I think, <laughs> but fair. Seek out Hildebrandt in Woodsmoke. You will be told... How bit I don't know why I'm giving her this voice, but whatever, we're rolling it, we're rolling with it. You'll be told how best to aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. Strive against this chaos, lest our realm be consumed by it. Fair enough. Okay, uh, go to Woodsmoke in the Guardian Forest. Fair. Okay. All right, let's get our let's get our bearings. Ooh, we got five perfect rolls right off the bat. That's good, actually. Okay, let's let's look around. Let's look around. Okay. So first off, uh, what is that? Okay, that's a dark carnival. Fair enough. We got a few enemies within charging distance. Uh, what do we have in uh, Orton here? Uh, we got a few things. Um, a rusty blade. Probably we should look at our equipment first. We got old boots, which give us plus one armor and plus one resistance. Excuse me. And we have broken loot. Uh, seven magic damage. Uh, plus eight gold modifier and skill support range. The uh, support range isn't really necessarily needed in this playthrough because obviously there's only one of us, so ha. Um, retardando. Retardando. I believe that's the pronunciation. Uh, if people want to say that I am saying something bad, that is up to you. Uh, it's saying right here on the screen, so I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, uh, seven maximum damage, uh, single target speed down which is pretty pretty cool pretty cool that's four rolls um and symphony it's a four damage aoe attack basically uh so not bad not bad uh not great but hey it'll work okay so what do we have here that we can get uh we have some shields if we want to go that route we have a bar bat which is nine magic damage uh retardano Dando, Dando, uh, Symphony, and Rubato, Rubato, Rubatu, something, um, and it's a reset, which is actually pretty broken in this game. Uh, we don't really have a lot of 
Okay, we've got 81 talent, but we don't have nearly enough to, I think, to make it effective. But it is worth worth looking at, at the very least. Okay, so quest board. What do we got? We can reduce chaos, which at the moment is not really necessary. Uh, ooh, hooked sword. 16 physical damage. Uh, lunge and disarm. Uh, disarm is a reset, so that is pretty tempting. And a single attack with, you know, 16 damage. That's pretty good. We have a, phys a strength stat of 77, which is not great, but that's not bad. And with the game, and with a little challenge like this, we kind of we're, we're gonna have to branch out, basically, both physical and magic. Granted, um, the ability to do damage magically, like at least with the loots for now, because you can get gold plus gold modifiers from winning battles, is pretty nice. Uh, kill the war bear in the guardian forest. Heck new. No. Kill the kobold in the guardian forest. Uh, 30 gold. Hmm. That is very tempting. Very tempting. Uh, do I want to reduce chaos? That 30 gold is really tempting. Oh. Hmm. That's a level one kobold. I think it's gonna be two enemies. I could be wrong. Um, I'm gonna take on this crow swarm. Yeah, it'll be two enemies for that. Usually it'd be three. Ouch. Double ouch. Okay. So I can do this, or I can do this to potentially take out. Uh, one of them. And this won't do, so... Uh... Okay, I took out one. Yay. Alright. That's... That's painful. Okay, there we go. And we got four gold. And that didn't multiply because... It, I think it has to be like five or more for that to work. Uh, okay. We got lock picks too. Not bad, not bad. Uh, okay. So, hopefully Entertain will proc here, and I can show it to you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, like I said, when you stand near a, uh, city, I think during the day, if you stand near a city, you have a chance at gold. If you stand next to, like, a night market or the carnival, the dark carnival, which is right here, um, during the night, you get a chance of it proccing. Um, so we've got 15 gold. Can we buy anything with that? We can buy shields. Leather greaves. Uh, worn leather boots, that's actually worse than what we've got now. Um, we could buy more, uh, Godspeard. Hmm. That's tempting. Uh... We can't buy the Barbot yet. Barbat. Mm. Do we want to go for the Beast Raider? Let's do that. Fight. It's going to take two attacks. That is painful. Ouch. Okay. Uh... Okay, that's one attack. Two. There we go. Whoo! Oh, a little bit, of, a little bit of lag there. Oy. All right, collect. Ooh! Yes. We lose one armor, but we gain one resistance, and we get more talent, which is very good. Um. We're gonna go up this way, head to Woodsmoke. Okay. 
to the glittering mines. Okay, a cult device, rather. And uh, the first uh, mini boss. What do we got here? Um, we've got 20 gold, which is actually not bad considering. Ooh, old short sword. Uh, plus five crit chance, plus five speed. Ooh, a crude club. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that is very tempting. That is very tempting. Incredibly tempting. The reason is, is because the very first boss is uh, is going to have undead characters with them. So this could potentially be what saves us in the first dungeon. Usually I grab this for the sole fact that it could basically help us win the uh, battle. Um, and with 77 strength, it's Decently accurate, not great, but it's decent. Um, however, the elm pipe is also kind of necessary um, as well because we don't have a lot of health, and having God's beard that can heal us for thirty instead of fifteen is kind of, is kind of nice. Uh, that's a bit of a tough one, bit of a toughie. Um. I think that the Crude Club is probably more preferable, um, besides getting more damage. Uh, find equip. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these. Uh, services. Mm, this will get our health back. Oh, entertain. Good. So, we're now going to take on this beastman right here, get some more experience. Fight. I'm pretty sure... Ow. If I get a perfect roll here, um, we'll do... A little bit of lag. Okay, well, if we would have gotten a perfect roll, we would have one-shot him. That is painful. How? how. Okay. Why could we not done that before? Well, now I don't have the gold modifier, actually, so that is kind of annoying. Uh, let's see. Stone Circle. I don't have much intelligence, so that's probably not a good idea. Um, it's a pixie. Wonderful. You pain in the butt. Okay. I was hoping for a crit. Haha. -ha. Wow, okay then. That actually went a lot better than I expected. Okay, so we got 14 gold back now, which is good. And we entertained, so we got 3 gold again. Uh, we could buy God's Beard. Or we could buy a shield. Since we currently are having... Since we currently have a... Uh... Uh... What should we do, Hicker? Why is my mouse, like, going completely nuts? Hmm, buy an equip. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, actually, I think, yeah, I forgot to buy a darn thing at the beginning. Uh, what's this? Strength. Hmm. Let's move this way. Ooh, a golden hero. That's, that's quite nice, actually. Okay, nice. And we leveled up. Negative one chaos. Alright, yes, we have a chance. Alright then. So, we can now go for the kobold if we want. Uh, again, I think it's going to be only two enemies, so that would be kind of nice. 
So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And it would get us closer to the uh, gold hero, which is important. Having said that, that hurt. Ow. Oh. Well, crap. Uh. This is not gonna end well. This is not going to end well. Ouch. Aha, I dodged it. I, I'm gonna heal, because I'm probably going to die. Oh dear. Well, he's gone at least. Ow. Oh dear. Um. I'm dead. Oh, I am not dead. I am going to die. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, fudge. <laughs> we are on one health. Oh dear. Uh. Oh dear. Uh. Oh no! We are on one health! Oh fudge! Uh. <laughs> okay! Um. I think we can end it on here, uh, like a little bit of a cliffhanger. Okay. Things have not gone great, to be fair. I think I, I probably should have been more cautious. <laughs> so that's my fault. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, little this little episode. Hopefully, we can do better in the next one. Uh, th again, this has been Tetsu with Dose Story Gaze Gaming. Um, that's about all I've got as an outro. I I'll work on it. Anyway, next time we'll get the gold hero uh, and stuff. Hopefully, we can make it back to town before we die. Hopefully. Uh, until next time. Uh, Again, I've been Tetsu, and Dust Gaming, yada yada yada, lighters, and such things. <laughs>